I met some great people at the fourth annual Surf Film Festival, running in conjunction with the Hawaiian Vintage Surf Auction. Tell me about the first surfboard you ever owned. Hi, I'm Lance Carson. My recollections of my first surfboard that I ever had was one that my dad made me in the garage in Pacific Palisades, California in 1948. He was an engineer with uh, on the original flying wing for Jack Northrop and Northrop Aircraft. So he was pretty good with his hands. And the thing that influenced me on surfing was not a person or anything special uh, regarding who I hung around with. We had the old Packard in 1948. We used to take trips up the coast from the Santa Monica Palisades area to uh, just take a, a weekend drive up the coast. There was nothing up there except this private surf beach that had a barbed wire fence along it. There was a half a dozen of these guys on these heavy, heavy old boards. Solid, solid wood, some Simmons boards, redwood balsa, and I used to hang onto that fence and watch these guys coming across. I said, Daddy, Daddy, I gotta do that. And my dad was the kind of guy that, uh, of course there were no surf shops in those days, so he couldn't just go buy anything. But um, he talked to a few of the guys down there in the beach, and they told him where they get wood and how they did it in the garage. And, and, um, and he made my first belly slider in the garage. I still have it to this day. It's got, he painted my name on the front, and it's in my living room to this day. How big was the board? It was about four feet long. Four and a half feet long. Of course, you got to remember, I was about four inches high. Now I was four years old. I used to be belly slide at Malibu. Okay. Thank you very much. My pleasure.